Alrighty, good morning everybody. Make me and Scott's Fitness. Doing my morning walk out here at the farm. I'll first start with a quick walk to the pond. Just haven't been out there for a while. And I think I'm gonna take the long road path. So there's the habitat. Which is just a couple years of trimmed branches have been thrown there and should provide a lot of insulation cover for oh, lizards, snakes, mice, you name it. So, pond still got a good healthy fish population. I think the amphibians have already dug their way in. I think they have to start earlier. You can't dig through that mud when it's solid. <laughs> and I haven't seen them for a couple weeks, so I'm thinking they've already started getting into their hibernation mode. I'll have to research it and see when that they actually start doing that. It'll be interesting to find out. So, warm day. May actually be overdressed. I mean, this is a light shirt, but I might be dropping it and just going with the. Well, I'll probably just tie it off me. But uh, 66 degrees. Might get up to 70 today. And then it gets back to reality. We drop down to the 40s and 50s, which it should be at this time of the year. Yesterday I had a pretty active day. I hiked, I threw discus, and I lifted. This morning I had, oh, the allergies were really messing with me. My eyes were all bloodshot. I still might be, I'm not sure. And uh, itchy and all that stuff kind of kept me out of the uh, activity for the first hour this morning. But I had my morning shake. And now I'm shooting down the road and seeing what I'll find. Until a lot of the leaves are, dro are dropping. So everything's starting to look a little bit better. Whew, now that I'm in the wind, yeah, the shirt was a good to keep on me. So, while the weather allows it, I'll try to get these hikes in. I don't do it when the weather's really extreme. I know there are people that do and they'll bundle up in that, but <clears throat> in my opinion, sometimes you're asking for trouble. You know, I mean, if you're dressing layers and you can take the layers off or loosen them as you get heated and then put them back on I guess it's good for you but if it's you know seven degrees out there I'm not going for a hike I got a treadmill for that <laughs> but generally if it's above freezing I don't have a problem with doing it It's a good way to get the blood moving, kind of see what's out and about in the neighborhood, and notice that there's any changes going on. So, on the political side, looks like people have, I don't know, I just I don't understand it. They're falling for the, the narrative. Looks like, uh, couple red states went blue I don't know what's wrong with you you know I don't know how bad it's got to get before you wake up I really don't but I digress the state's always been blue because of Chicago not much we can do about that unless we separate ourselves from Chicago which I'm all for yeah looks like I got a neighbor coming down here with his four-wheeler I'll see if he's got to say hi or anything. I'll pause. Well, the neighbor 
asked me if I was interested in a bale of straw. I go, oh, hell yeah. <coughs> I'll throw that right in the, the greenhouse. I mean, he's got another load of uh, chicken bedding and poop to throw in the garden. I said, sure, I'll take that. Why wouldn't I? I don't know, maybe I'll try to get that rototiller fired up. I hadn't, I hadn't started, the problem is, is uh, I got so many weeds bound up in it, it actually shut it down. So when I get back from my walk, maybe I'll set up my cooking live stream and then uh, while I'm waiting that half hour, turn some more soil. Probably need to go in there with a saw. I'm thinking those weeds wrap around the tines and you know kind of bind it up. I do want to break the soil up a little bit before winter. Otherwise the soil gets pretty hard. And in the springtime I'll just be bouncing on the top of it. But as for the greenhouse, I did get my one extra, my two extra uh, tarps that help insulate it even better. <coughs> and uh, no hurry on doing those. Need to go buy some more washers and, and try to figure out what I'm going to do with the entranceway. I got to do something different with it, make it a little easier for me to get in and out. Got to make some sort of door. But that can actually wait till spring. There's no hurry on that. So, today I'm planning on doing a little longer walk. Uh oh, there's Annie. She sees me. I'm probably going to have company. Not that I mind it, because I don't. She's a good dog. But she's not my dog. And they got one of those invisible fence on it, and you now she's a beagle. She pulls right through it. So we'll see what happens. Oh, coming up here to Mud Creek, might see some mig migratory ducks, possibly. Oh, I don't know. He just came by with a with a four wheeler. So if there was anything there, he's probably scared it away. But we'll peek anyway. There's Mud Creek. The net's finally dissolved, I think, to nothing. But it, it served its purpose. Caught me some bullhead to Throwing the pine and a bunch of bluegill. So I know that habitat's doing pretty well. Yeah, here are all sorts of voids. The water's up higher than it usually is. So this is where you turtles would be. Of course, I haven't seen them in eons. And this is my net, which is in pretty poor shape, I'm sure. Yeah, it's done. And then, of course, we have our, our beta with the Bud Light. Alrighty, I've turned the corner. So, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've been out here, so looks like I see two new cans. There's a Twisted Tea. And then you have a, looks like a Miller Light up ahead. Yeah, this one's already got the tab off it.
Yeah, Miller Lite with a tab on it. <clears throat> I did bring a bag with me in case I run into enough cans to justify picking up. Yeah, here's a Budweiser. This one got tossed pretty good. Gotta do some four wheeling to get to this one. Pretty fresh, got the red tab on it. So it's kind of keeping a mental count. That's uh, four cans and three tabs. And one that was already crunched, so five cans so far. That doesn't justify putting it in a bag yet, but we'll see. Going a little bit further today. Probably go for about three and a half, maybe four miles. I think the vultures have headed south. I haven't seen them in a couple days. I can still scare up a hawk, maybe a howl. You never know. So, Wednesday. Been working so many weekend days. I'm tired to determine what day of the week it is. Not sure if I'm gonna work this weekend or not. If it's my furnace, I'll work it. But if it's a boring job, I don't know. I'll have to see. It's not that I don't need the money, because I do. But sometimes it's good to enjoy your time off, but we did that on Sunday. And then Thanksgiving, we're, we got a five day weekend. So, probably good to work this weekend if I can. Besides, Uncle Sam is, is counting on my tax dollars. So we can send that overseas. Have people that pretty much hate us. Yeah, that makes sense. But I digress. Still doing it in my legal manner. I think I'm going to wait until Thursday to answer them. And, uh, you know, they were dragging their feet, so I might as well drag mine. There's no reason for me to rush. Just want to make sure I had all the information. Every time I ask him, I get a little bit more information. It's like you're being really selective and leaving a lot of stuff out. Which doesn't surprise me. That's what I was saying. When you get an email, regardless of what the email it is, wait a day or two before you respond. Read it a few times, get the emotion out of it, and uh, before you answer. A lot of times we answer right away because it made us angry or we thought it, it meant something that was in a good or bad light and we responded to it and realized nope that's not what they meant so if you always pause and read it a few times and even sleep on it you tend to have a, an answer that fits it better because when we sent it back the first time I was like okay you were missing a lot of info so here's what I said and it Came back and he said something else. Oh man, it's great. That I, I can live with that. But I didn't answer him. The next day I'm looking at it going, hmm, okay. Left some things out. And sure enough, I said, let's clarify. What are we exactly talking here? Oh, did I forget to tell you? Yes, you did. Pretty sure on purpose. So that's my advice. Text or email, don't answer it right away. Get your emotions out of it first and look at it again logically. And take it apart. What what did they actually say? And more important, what did they not say? Remember, propaganda is not just what they're telling you. Propaganda is also what they're not telling you. 
That's what they're leaving out. Like, oh, did we leave that part out? Wonder how that happened. Well, we did it on purpose. So, toss these out here. Four wheeling it now. If it's dry enough to do so. And I know I'll have a lot more cans in here. So I'm doing, I'm just tossing them up by the road. <clears throat> and on the way back, I can detail them and crunch them. And depending on how many I toss, get out there. Whether I'll be collecting a can, which looks like I will be. Looks like I'll have enough. Woo! Look at that shit. You gotta really kind of throw it hard. I got a crosswind. Oh yeah. Those will come back for later. I'm just here for the aluminum glass I leave. As you can tell, they throw a lot of cans on this road. Now, some of this stuff is older. But it was <clears throat> too wet for me to get to at the time. You can see there was a fire here. Yeah. I'll be filling my bag. Only because... Oh, look, here's a pre-crunched one. There's one right up there front. So you gotta really give them a good flick, otherwise they don't make the road. And what I'll do is I'll come back and crunch them and pick them up. It's like I'm four wheeling. Whew. Some of these are just so light that you really gotta give them a fling. Get them out there. And I'm not getting them all. I'm getting a lot of them. Damn. I didn't see it, but I heard it. I definitely have enough for a, a crushed can full. All right. Let's come out of the four wheel area. There's that prairie. Gotta be like 10,000 mice in there. I mean, easy think about it come up to Dead Claw Sanctuary here in a second oh look at that you can tell it's been a couple weeks. Got plenty of stuff to pick up. The whole idea is just to get a nice uh, steady heart rate going. 
and you want to keep it for a good 20 minutes. And that constitute as cardio. So I think a good distance might go a little bit further. And uh, see if I run into any any birds of prey or that. Finally got a little campgrounds here. It's been a while since it came down this way. You can see a lot of leaves dropping. see some ducks or something down there, but nope. Looks pretty pretty bare. Cut up. Junkyards here. I hear a radio. So he may be home. Yes, he's okay with just having hired man work. Gave him the opportunity to get a good solid job, but some people just don't want it. I don't know if he's home or not. A lot of lumber there. Well, it looks like he's working out back there. I hear something. This is one area of interest. That could just be the wind. Oh, there goes the doves. Alrighty, so I'm gonna walk. If I come up with anything worthwhile, I'll put it as a part two. I think I'll just upload this up as my evening premiere. <clears throat> just to kind of say happy hi to everybody sometimes a chat is more interesting than the video so remember rest nutrition proper exercise go for walks enjoy life have fun